we go. Number 13. We've got 4 and 3 sixths take away 3 eighths. Ooh. Let's have a quick look at how that looks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Take away 3 eighths. Ooh. And 3 sixths. So we know that 3 sixths is a half, don't we? Ta and 3 eighths. So that's take away 2. Take away 2. There we are. And did we say 3 eighths? Well, 4 eighths would be a half, wouldn't it? So 3 eighths would be a bit less than a half. Yeah, we can do that one. So 4 take away 2 is 2. And then, th we, then we've got to do 3 sixths take away 3 eighths. Um, let's put them over the same number. What will they both go into? 24. So 2 over 24. 24. Are you getting fed up with this? I thought you were. Have some more marshmallows. Yeah. Pink one and a white one. That's right. One for each cheek. Mm -hmm. Right, where were we? Multiply the bottom by 3, multiply the top by 3, multiply the bottom by 4, multiply the top by 4, which is 12. That looks about right, doesn't it? So 2 and then 12, 24 take away 9, 24, 12 satsumas take away 9 satsumas equals 3, 24. Now 3, 24, we can make that into just bigger chunks. So, um, if you had a pizza, you could cut it into a thousand bits and have... 500 bits and that would be a half but quite frankly by the time you've got there the pizza would be cold possibly even mouldy so you want your pizza in the biggest chunks possible so that it's still hot so we're going to um 3 24th, 3 goes into that once 3 goes into that eight times so it's two and an eighth Taram, and that agrees with the answers get in there right Let's have a look, see if this is the right colour background. Seven, make sure we know that this is a minus. Seven, um, take away, oh, two quarters is a half, is bigger than two fifths, isn't it? Uh, let me explain. If you've got a pizza divided by five people, they're going to be smaller bits than if it's by four people because then that will be bigger bits, won't it? Because there are fewer people to share the pizza. And therefore, two quarters is bigger than two fifths. Which means we've got to chop up all of these pizzas into bits and then sort them out. Let's go. I'm just going to do a quick recce, though. Seven take away three is four. And then we're going to nibble. So the answer I think I want is three and a big bit because I'm feeling I'm going to make some mistakes. Let's see. So 7 take away... No, we can't do that, can we? Because we know that one's bigger, so we've got to do some nibbling. Ooh. Yeah, ignore that. Ignore that. We're just going to chop up all of these pizzas into fifths. So that would be 7 pizzas, each cut into 5, so that's 35 bits, and then these extra 2, so that's 37 fifths. Take away... Now we're going to chop all of these ones into quarters. So this one is four. Hold on, hold on, one, two, three. So that one's into quarters, that one's into quarters, that one's into quarters, and then we've got our two quarters left over. So four, eight, twelve, fourteen. So that's fourteen quarters. Now, those are two different sizes, aren't they? We've got to make them the same size. So what we're going to do, what number will um, five and four go into? Come on, shout it out. 20, you're absolutely right. So multiply the bottom by five, multiply the top by five. Is that 72? Let's just try it. 14 times five. No, it's not, is it? Then I multiply it by 5. Uh, 14 times 5 is 20. 1 times 5 is 5. And 2 is 7. <gasps> Fancy that. I got it wrong. Sorry, that. that's not altogether great, is it? But never mind. Right, so that's 70. And now multiply the bottom by 4. Multiply the top by 4. I'm not even going to try doing that in my head. Times 4. Uh, 
7 times 4 is 28, 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 is 14. So we've got 148. What big numbers we have. 148 twentieths. Take away 70 twentieths. Right, let's give ourselves a bit more space. Mm, should we leave that through in a big bit? No. Um, so 148. Take away 70. 8. Seven, so that's 78 twentieths. Right, now 20 twentieths make a whole pizza, don't they? So that's one, we'll make 20 twentieths. Two pizzas, so that would be another 20, so that's 40 altogether. Another 20 would make 60 altogether, so that will give us three whole pizzas, and so that's 60, 78 bits of pizza. Take away 60 bits of pizza is 18 bits of pizza. So 18 bits of 18 twentieths. But remember, we want them in as big as chunks as possible because we don't want our cheese to have all gone hard and cold. So what will go into 18 and 20? Two. You nailed it. So it's three and nine tenths. Well done. Let's go on to the next one. Ooh, this looks quite austere, doesn't it? It's a plus. Always have a look out for that one. So 7 and 6 is 15. Now we know that 3 6 is a half. And there's 3 6 is a half. Oh, that's good. There's 1, 2, 3. Or 1, 2, 3. That makes a whole one. So plus 1 is 16. What have I done wrong? Ah! <gasps> You didn't shout loud enough. 7 and 6 isn't 15, is it? No, 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 no. It's 13. 13 plus the 1 makes 14. Cuh. Have some marshmallows. Pink and white. Well done. Oh, that's such an obvious mistake to make, isn't it? A silly mistake. Very, if you've been preparing for this 11 plus, if you, if you make mistakes, you know, if you fail, it's usually silly mistakes. It'll be silly mistakes. You'd look back at it and get, you could have got that one. You could have got that one. And that carries on. What you have to learn is to be comfortable with silly mistakes so that you know to look out for them rather than being defensive. Anyway, see you soon.